Hi everyone, my name is Nok Long and today I'm going to read out loud with the picture book for teaching the kids to read and I chose this book. This book with the title is A Chair for My Mother from the Vera Williams and he's also the illustrator. Um, I really love this book and I chose this, this book to teach the children. Um, because this book is a good book to learn about the cultural identities um, and learn about the character helpfulness. When the kids read the book, they are directly to see the saving money and kindness people and yeah, the kids will see the, the kindness when they read this book. And okay, we're gonna move on. The first page, a chair for my mother. To the memory of my mother, Rebecca Poringer Becker. My mother works as a waitress in a blue tile dinner. After school, sometimes I go to meet her there. Then her boss, Jocelyn give me a job too. I wash the salt and pepper and fill the ketchups. One time I peel at the onions for the onion soup. When I finished, Jocelyn says, Good work, honey, and pays me. And every time I put half of my money into the jar. It takes a long time to fill a jar this big. Every day when my mother comes home from work, I take down the jar. My mama empties all her change from tips out of her purse for me to count. Then we push all the coins into the jar. Sometimes my mama is laughing when she comes home from work. Sometimes she is so tired she falls asleep while I count the money out into piles. Some days she has a lot of tips. Some days she has only a little. Then she looks worried. But each evening every single shiny coin goes into the jar. We sit in the kitchen to count the tips. Usually grandma sits with us too while we count. She likes to hunt. Often she has money in her own little wallet of us. Whenever she gets a good bargain on tomatoes or bananas or something she buys, she puts by the savings and they go into the jar. When we can't get a single other coin into the jar, we are going to take out all the money and go and buy a chair. Yes, a chair, a wonderful, beautiful, fat, soft armchair. We get, we will get one covered in velvet with rose all over it. We are going to get the best chair in the whole world. That is because our own chairs burned up. There was a big fire in our other house. All our chairs burned. So did our sofa and so did everything else that wasn't such a long time ago. My mother and I were coming home from buying new shoes. I had a new sandal. She had a new pumps. We were walking to our homes from the bus. We were looking at the everyone's tulips. She has a saying she liked the red tulips. And I say I was saying I liked yellow ones. Then we came to our block. Right out right outside our house stood two big fire engines. I could see lots of smoke. Tall orange flames come out of the roof. 
All the neighbors stood in a bunch across the street. Mama grabbed my hands and we ran. My Uncle Sandy saw us and ran to us. Mama yelled, Where is mother? I yelled, Where is my grandma? My aunt Ida waved and shouted, She's here! She's here! She's okay! Don't worry! Grandma was all right. Our cat was safe too, but it took a while to fight her. But everything else is our whole house was spoiled. What was left of the house was turned to a jungle and ashes. We went to stay with my mother, sister, aunt Ida, and Uncle Sandy. Then we were able to move into the apartment downstairs. We painted the, the walls yellow. The floors were all shiny, but the rooms were very empty. The first day we moved in, the neighbors brought pizza and cake and ice cream. And they brought a lot of odd things too. A family across the street brought a table and three ch kitchen chairs. A very old man next door gave us a bed from his children were little. My other grandpa brought us his beautiful rug. My mother's other sister, Sally, had made us red and white curtains. Mama's boss, Josephine, brought pots and pans, silverware, and dishes. My cousin brought me all stuffed bear. Everyone clapped when my grandma made a speech. You are all the kindest people, she said, and we thank you very, very much. It's lucky we are young and can start all over. Finally, we found a chair. We were all dreaming of. The money in the jar was enough to pay for it. We called Aunt Ida and Uncle Sandy. They came right down in their pickup truck to drive the chair home for us. They knew we couldn't wait for it to be delivered delivered. I dragged out our chair in the back of the truck. Mama wouldn't let me sit there while we drove, but they let me sit in it while they carry it up to the door. We set the chair right beside the window with the red and white curtain. Grandma and Mama and I all sat in it while Ida, Aunt Ida took our picture. Now, Grandma sits in it and talks with people going to the daytime. Mama sits down and watches the news on TV when she's come home from her job. After super I sit with her and she can reach right up and turn out the light if I fall asleep in her lap. This book ends. <sighs> After we finish this book, I will connect this book to uh, teach children how to counting. Oh, first thing, I want to teach my kids uh, how to save money why we need to save money and let's talk about um, how to teach uh, how the kids can save money uh, and how how do they think about save money will help them help them something and um, and then I will connect with the math I will teach the kids counting by the nickel, dims, and the quarters. I will teach them count the numbers uh, by five times and ten times for the social study aspect. 
I will teach a kids about the African American community uh, because the character in this book are Ameri African American family. You can see they are kind people. They are willing to help each other uh, when they need. Um, yeah, and also I can use the worksheet for the student can fill in the worksheet with uh, answer a question about the comprehension. Uh, what is the story you talk about? Uh, how do you learn from this book? Because as you know, this book is so many details, so many things we've take away from this book. Thank you. Thank you for listening.